Hey guys, how's it going? It's BCB here. So I'm not going to lie right now. I'm about to go up to the mountains and do some hiking. And I'm excited about it because I haven't gotten out in a while. So, uh, <clears throat> and I live in like this beautiful desert. Um, so did you enjoy it more? But um, I just wanted to start this off by saying I'm excited to review this cabinet I'm about to tell you about. It's pretty cool. Um, now I got it for a really good deal. It was like half price a few months back. Uh, maybe about six months ago or so. Um, I just haven't reviewed it yet, but it's really cool. Um, it's basically um, uh, the Big Buck World uh, Arcade 1-Up Cabinet. This comes with two send-in light guns, and it's the game where you're shooting the bucks, and there are scantily clad girls walking by, and, um, you know, it's just part of it, right? You can actually turn that off, which is interesting. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go over this cabinet with you. Um, so get your Java, get whatever you need to do come on with me upstairs let's go take a look at my still under construction copy cade we'll see you in a minute guys Welcome back guys. So I'm going to take you with me upstairs. We're going to take a look. Now my coffee cade is just kind of a mess right now. I've been busy. It's yeah, it's kind of tragic. So don't judge the room yet. Um, but I do want to take you up there with me. So let's go. I haven't played this in a little bit, to be honest, just because I've been busy, but I used to play it all the time. Here's Kitty Cooper, the set designer, taking a nap. Hey Kitty. Cooper? No. Oh, he had a lot to say. Um, so let's go take a look here. So here it is. Now I'm here in my hallway. I've been doing lots of construction and stuff, cleaning up in the attic. It's a scary place. Um, so let's go in here to my coffee cade. It actually says arcade right there. And if you can see that, I went through all that trail over y'all. Okay, let's go. So. It could be a lot better, I know. It needs some work. It is nowhere done, or nowhere um, near being done. But when I turn my lights on, it kind of transforms this room, right? I really love the lights still. So anyway, so here's my copy cade. This is a front panel to my uh, Tempest arcade one-up Atari legacy cabinet, which still isn't working. They sent me a screen for it, like a monitor. I just don't have the time to do it. But anyway, so what I'm gonna do is, when I come in here, I have to turn all my games on because I turn them off to conserve power, as one does. It's very hot up here too. I'm in the desert, heat rises in the winter, so it's very, it's very hot up here. Um, so what I do when I come in, let me just show you this. Now these, these are turning on that I just turned on. God, I love that Tron cabinet. It's so sexy. Three, two, one, go. go. Let's go. So here we go. So I'm going to turn this light on over here. You ready? And I want to show you what this does. My little arcade sign comes on. This looks better at night. Right now it's the middle of the day. My sign comes on. All my games come on. And here is the one we're talking about. This is the Big Buck World Arcade 1-Up cabinet. And what I like about it is, here, let me set this on this chair. Um, it's pretty darn cool. Um, let me turn this one down back here. And let me turn this one up. So this is a really cool cabinet. I really like it. Like I said, it does have the send in light guns on either side, which, um, yes, are kind of hollow, could be better. But um, for what this is, I really love it. Now, one thing on this, the marquee does not light up. Um, 
nothing down here lights up, it's just this. But it comes with these two cool guns. And um, I really like it. Now, if I'm just starting out for the first time, it's going to go through the intro here. And you can basically pick a scene to go hunting in. It does this little intro thing, as I said. Let's watch that for a minute. there guys um very majestic and crazy um but one of the things i really like about this cabinet um it is small but i put a stool here to sit on um so it makes it kind of a little more comfortable to be honest the kangaroos are kind of sus right there but everything else looks pretty good um so um i'm gonna play a few rounds here um with just myself here in a minute I'm going to wait till the lights go down though, it's a little light. So, um, but I really like this cabinet, it's by Raw Thrills. Um, as I said, it is two player, you can do two players, and it's fun. So it's a great party piece for your arcade, what do you think? Hey guys, I do cover a lot of Atari on my channel, but, um, Kate got my hair's a mess. Shit. So while I do like to cover Atari on my channel, uh, 
Occasionally, I like to cover other things too, um, from Nintendo games to Odyssey 2 to and television, um, sometimes the Wii U, um, and uh, arcade one-up cabinets, um, as I feature here in my copycade. Um, and I've got quite a few, as you can see. Um, I've got at least seven, um, including countercades and party cades downstairs. But um, one that I really enjoy um, is this one. This is the Big Buck World Arcade Cabinet uh, by Arcade One Up. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's got these send and light guns with it. And it's got a variety of games. You can do three tracks or one track. You can do from one player to like four players with this thing. It's incredible. Um, for those of you that uh, have friends over once in a while or have kids or a spouse that you'd like to play games with, this is a pretty cool cabinet. Now, I'm usually playing it by myself, but um, a few months ago, my family visited and my I was blown away to come in here and see like six people in here playing games. It was just, it was incredible. And one they were drawn to as well was the Big Buck World arcade cabinet. So guys, I decided to revisit my copy Kate at night with you because it looks much better, as you'll see. Um, <clears throat> I did have the LEDs on before I entered, so um, on both sides, I've got two sets. But this is my copy cade. It's a work in progress, as I said. Um, I really want to do something with the walls, make them darker, but um, it's a great place to feature my arcade one-up collection. I have Ridge Racer, Tron, um, the Legends Ultimate is at Games product over there. Um, got a few toys over here from my time in here when it was the 8-bit lounge, if you remember. Um, but when I turn this light on, voila, everything comes on on the side. Um, but the Big Buck World Cabinet is definitely um, one that stands out, as I said before. Um, it Everyone's drawn to it. I, th I honestly think it's the guns, you know. Um, so um, it's got some great art on the side and the bottom here on the riser. Um, there was also a Big Buck Hunter Pro Cabinet, I believe, that I have a uh, preview for later on in the video, like a YouTube video they had for that. Essentially the same cabinet, right? But yeah, the speaker on the front's nice and loud. Um, the guns are really cool. I love having the sending guns. Um, but this thing, and I, <clears throat> I have to tell you, it wasn't that hard to put together. It was, um, you know, it's about 88.6 pounds is what it says here. It came out February 11th, 2021. And I really like it. Um, this game was out by Roth Reels in the arcades. And RK1 made the game for it so love that sign there too my sister got me that as well uh, a couple years ago but sitting next to my other cabs it uh, definitely stands out here's pac-man mortal kombat 2 and my legends pinball by ad games um i love coming up here as i said it's nice to get away um with the leds on or off um but yeah um so when you start a game uh basically you can get through the entry here just by pulling the trigger and you're going to select one or two players um, as you go. Um, I just hit the green button with my gun there. <laughs> and um, so I usually do the um, North American, but sometimes I also do the European um, adventures. So I'm hitting one player here. Uh, and again, you can do one to four players there. Um, just going to do one track this time. But um, I wanted to show you... Uh, some gameplay as well and i'll definitely get into that but here's all the hunting adventures you have quite a few i usually just choose a random one here's bighorn sheep they all have different kind of backgrounds um some of the games um you know you'll have the scantily clad girls <laughs> going back and forth here you just have her on the intro screen in this one but um riggins idaho is that what that says um, so yeah, just, just a, such a fun game guys. Um, I really like it. As I said, um, it's just so full of character and, um, I always find myself just coming in here and playing a few rounds to get some steam off, you know, come and shoot some bucks and, uh, the bonus levels are really cool too. Now, here's a kind of a closer look at the gun just to show you that this is the one I use, uh, pump to reload. Um, so you do have to pump it between each time you shoot. Um, that's a must. Um, you can pump it really quickly. I do that too. That speaker's nice and loud. I really like it. 
Um, you can also tuck the cords in the riser there when it's just sitting, which is cool. There is artwork on the side. Um, can't show you all of it because how it's positioned. But um, yeah, it's, it's definitely such a cool cab. I love it. They have little instructions on the front there on how to calibrate your gun and um, all that good stuff. Now, over there also is my Tempest cabinet that's not working, sadly, still. But all the rest of the cabinets have worked great. That one's giving me nothing but issues over there, though. Um, they sent me a control deck that didn't work. They sent me a PCB board, two of those that didn't work. And I just got a monitor, too. So, anyway, here are the different bonus games. Um, there's quite a few. I love a lot of them. One that freaks me out is when you're shooting the tarantulas between your feet. That one's kind of creepy. Uh, since I don't like spiders. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Meteor Bash, just all kinds of stuff. Uh, goose Hunt. You see here, uh, Frog Flapping. Uh, clockwork. That one's fun too. Um, turkey Hunt. You have to hit this next button with your gun. Sometimes it can be hit or miss, even if you aim. Uh, mug Shot. Boar's Gone Wild. Dove Hunt. Gophers, windmills, quails, logs, just all kinds of stuff. Pheasants, pie in the sky, that's fun. Um, but there are tons of bonuses, um, and I guess these are from the different games they had out. I love this one here um, with the uh, off the rails. Yeah, so much fun. Um, and I can't quite pump when I'm shooting this, but I can shoot one at least. But um, it, it will tell you to pump to reload. Um, so just to show you some other things, um, that's how I kind of pump to reload there. Um, and that's how I start a game with the tip of it. <laughs> um, and uh, here I am going into the kind of European part of the adventures. Um, it's cool, though. It takes you different parts of the globe, and I really find it neat. Um, like the sus kangaroos you saw from Australia. <laughs> um but yeah, this one here, um, I just randomly chose this. Um, this is a Black Buck Adventures. Um, and uh, as you can see, I haven't even played this one yet. There's so many on here, I haven't played all of the adventures. That's how many are on here, quite a few. Um, but I also like it tells you tips, like Ed for the, Heyman heart, Ed for the Head and Heart. Um, and uh, yeah, I just really like the backgrounds too. Um, really cool. Now, you can also choose, as I said uh, before, you can choose uh, different players when you start up. Uh, they give you all the options here. I'm showing this again just so you can see that again because it's kind of hard to ex explain. Um, and you choose the players here. I accidentally chose three. <laughs> um, bonus only. So you can just play the bonuses too, which is a bonus. Um, the bonuses, I, I think, are one of the best parts of this cabinet as well. They're, they're such a variety. Um, here's my coffee. <laughs> um, and, uh, <clears throat> yeah, just a really great cabinet, guys. I really like it. Um, it's about the same size as the others. Um, thank God it has a riser. But, um, yeah, it's, a, it's definitely a cool cabinet. I love how it sloped right there, too. It was not hard to put together. It took about two and a half hours, two hours like the others. Um, but, um, yeah, it just always gets the looks. Now, see, you can change the big butt girls from on to off. <laughs> anyway, here's that trailer. the box. Don't shoot the doughs. You come near me, you son of a bitch. Don't even try. So guys, I know you can't see me. I'm here a little bit later, but I'm going to turn the lights on in here. I want you to see 
what it looks like when I turn my lights on. And again, all the cabinets start up here. I do have to plug in my, uh, um, <laughs> Now I've got most of them turned down except for the big, the big buck world, <laughs> but um, I'm going to turn the LEDs on now. So uh, it's kind of hard to get to a place to talk about this cabinet because it's uh, I have a small arcade room and um, it's pretty loud. So one thing about the big buck world cabinet is. It definitely makes its appearance known in your arcade. It's loud, um, it's something different. You've got the guns here, which I love. Um, yes, they are kind of kitty-like, but I think that's how it needs to be anyway, right, for a game like this. Um, but it's cool. Uh, the front of the cabinet says Big Buck Hunter Pro, Big Buck Hunter Open Season, uh, Big Buck Safari, and Big Buck Safari Outback. And the cabinet itself is called Big Buck World, so it combines kind of different Big Buck games, I guess. Um, but I really find it entertaining, especially when you have a guest over and you're doing two-player. It's really fun. Um, so you're both shooting in the same scenes, and it's very competitive, and it can be really, really fun. Uh, especially if you've got kids in the house or, um, hell, my, you know, my sister's boyfriend and I were playing this, and he's like in his 30s, and we had a great time. So it doesn't really... Age doesn't really matter um, with, with gaming, right, when done right. And I really think the Big Buck World Cabinet does it right. Um, it's, as I said, it's loud. It's very visually appealing. I love the marquee, even though it doesn't light up. I think it's great. Um, again, you have, um, you know, um, the bottom here, like I was reading to you before. Uh, here's what that looks like. Um, the gun cords can go down in this part of the riser kind of keep them out of the way so that's nice um and i really like how the cabinet is sloped like this it's it's unlike other rk1 cabinets right um so you have your start buttons here for either side for one player for two player you know you'll hit them both it's got an on off switch and a volume switch up here a little higher um and um, on the front, it says pump to reload after every shot, shoot bucks, and avoid does. I wish this lit up. Other than that, though, I really like it. So, um, But yeah, it's a, it's a great arcade cabinet. I like it a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to play a few rounds here. I'm going to record the best I can. Um, I know it's kind of subpar. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. Um, I'm going to turn my... Uh, speaker hat off so you can hear the game and I'll comment afterwards so let me go ahead and turn this all the way up well kind of it's very loud You missed everything. Thank you. 
Shapiro. So guys, that's the uh, Big Buck World uh, Home Arcade by Arcade One Up. Let me know what you think down below. I think it's a great cabin, especially if you can get it for two or three hundred dollars off. It's a really good deal. Um, I think right now it's like five ninety nine on Arcade One Up, which is not a bad price. I think this sold for way more than that, but. Um, yeah, let me know what you think down below. I think it's a cool cabinet for your home arcade, especially if you have a lot of arcade one-ups and you just make your arcade that. 
If you end up putting like a regular size one next to one of these, these will look smaller. Um, however, if you have them all in one room, people kind of can't tell. So uh, at least I can't sometimes when I come in here. But um, yeah, just a great addition to my arcade and I highly recommend it. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment. Get your Java on and we'll see you later, guys. Bye. Almost forgot. Mm. Nothing goes with home arcade better than coffee.